Hi, my lady, name is Ladybug, and I'm going to answer some questions while you watch our video. All right, first question. How do you charge your phones and MP3 players and devices while you're hiking? We have um, little um, charging packs, and also for my birthday, I got a solar panel. So we're trying that one out. It's worked pretty good so far. All right. Um, Aunt Paula says if she was Sierra and she saw a bear, she thinks she would be begging to go home. What do you feel about being in the wild with bears and mountain lions? Well, it's not the funnest, you know, but it works, you know. It gets better as you go along. Just the bears are scary when you see them, but only Sierra has seen them, so that's a good thing. All right, and how often do you get a shower? I don't know, every six days usually. Yeah, every time we go into town? Yeah. Yeah. All right, uh, what do you do between those times when you're not taking a shower? Do you use wet wipes? Yeah, yeah, mostly. Mostly? Or we'll just take a bath in the river. Have we ever done that? We've just no, thought about it. We've just, we, I think we might if we have a 12 day stretch that we don't take a Bath. Sure. All right. What are we doing to protect ourselves from the wildlife? We have Mia. We brought a dog. That's right. <laughs> All right. Aunt Paula says when she had kids, they always had chores. Do you feel like you have chores on the trail? Yep. What are they? They are mostly hiking and putting up your tent and taking it down every day. <laughs> Do you help with meals ever? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. All right, do you feel like our family is becoming closer through this experience? Kind of. A bit, yeah. I would say definitely. Yeah. All right, and do we take a zero day once a week? Yes, usually. Sometimes, sometimes. Only yeah. when we hit a town, right? Yeah. We're all at, always at the mercy of when the next town is. Yeah. But we've never gone longer than a six-day food carry. Yeah, so. Yeah. Bye. All right. Thanks, Ladybug. Hello. This is Goncho. Um, well, this is probably one of our worst days. Um, we were road walking, and then it started to rain, and it didn't stop raining. It just kept on raining. So, Dad had to tie up all the food bags because Sierra saw a black bear on the road. But when the rain cleared, it was pretty, I guess. And, well, yeah, you can see. Um, we spent about 40 miles on the road. And we had to dry out all our stuff when the rain finally stopped. All right. This is Adam, the dad. And unfortunately, you know, we came to, well, fortunately, we came to hike the trail, um, not mountaineer. So instead of going through snow, there are nice, long, flat paving roads that we chose to walk along, which have actually ended up being very, very enjoyable because we get to see a lot of the same country that we've sent, seen on the trail with, uh, with really nobody around. Um, and it gave us a, more of an opportunity to look up because the roads were graded flat. There weren't rocks and rails where stuff had washed out and we were actually able to kind of walk side by side and talk to each other so i guess there's a silver lining for all this uh all of this where we get to to hike roads from time to time and and uh enjoy each other's company and still have the the, the scenery that we wanted to to enjoy um this is us getting back on the trail after a, a nice long road walk um yeah it's beautiful and i guess the best thing about the rain is it just brings out all the colors so there's always a silver lining we talked with other, another group of uh of hikers that uh had gone up on the high road as we like to call it and they were in the snow and they just had so much snow 
got like a foot of snow. And they were they were thinking, oh, we might get some snow tonight, and expected just a skiff or like two inches, but they ended up with like twelve inches. But the trail provides. They ended up finding a cabin that was abandoned and in pretty good shape. And they just set up their tents in the cabin and took a zero on the trail, which is a rarity and fun as long as you can ration your food. And so I think everybody, um, you know, I guess when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade or you sleep in the cabin for an extra day and take a zero or road walk and stay out of the snow and enjoy the beautiful colors that come out from all the rain. So I think... Um, most people's theme for 2019 is the year that everybody bounces all over the place on the trail. Um, we just were in um, Syed Valley right now, just ran into a, a hiker that we met in Wrightwood, and we were just talking about how funny it is to, to be in these random little areas along the PCT and just run into people that we haven't seen in in a thousand miles or a hundred miles or 500 miles and and just to hear everybody's way of of coping with the snow and it's really interesting how many people just want just think oh you, you know get to the sierras just wait for the snow to melt but everybody that's gotten used to hiking miles and miles each day and just covering terrain and seeing things and there's just he just can't sit like you spend a day in camp and you're just you know just ready to get back on the trail and go someplace so there are hikers bouncing all up and down the trail from Washington to Oregon to California and back again just to try and find sections of trail and as I looked at uh, a website that talks about the snow or that that show it's a graph that's updated every three days on what parts of the trail don't have snow we've hiked every single section with with the exception of right around um, the cascade locks so right at the oregon washington border so we end up we've got about 200 miles of clear trail left to hike before we just have nothing but snow and uh, luckily temps are you know hitting 80s and 90s in a lot of these areas well maybe 80s and high 80s so we're all just praying that if we hike and find our way to clear trail that there will be more clear trail for us to to ramble along yes hey this is amazon so one of the main things that we think about on the trail is food what food are we going to have in the next town so we are about to hit Dunsmuir and we want to go to Yaks, which on Yelp is in the top 100 restaurants in America. So we're trying to get a hitch into Dunsmuir to get to Yaks. And we made it and got sticky buns and I got a Nutter Butter Nutter Nutter Butter Burger. I think that's how you say it. Hey, this is Wildflower. So after we left Yaks, it was dark and there were no Ubers or Lyfts available. So we ended up spending the night in this baseball dugout. But hey, memories. When are we going to be able to do something like that again? We are having such a great time out here. We're so grateful that you're watching these videos, even though it's just shoestring budget, one cut, one take. We're just trying to show how much fun we're having and how much gratitude we have for trail angels and other people that are helping us out, helping us reach our goals and live our dreams. Thank you.